Good morning. My name is Michael Austin, and I am the provost here at the University of Evansville. Today, I have the distinct pleasure to share some very good news for the university and for the Evansville community. As you may know, this last December, we announced the possible elimination of the music department as part of a comprehensive reorganization and realignment of academic programs. As soon as we made this announcement, we began hearing from you. We began hearing an outpouring of support from students, from community members, and from alumni who told us how much the music department meant to them and how important it was to their education at the university and their experience here in the community. We listened. Through the creativity and dedication of the UE Music faculty, through the efforts of the Friends of UE Music, and through the contributions of some key university supporters, we are able to announce today that not only will we not be eliminating the UE Music Department, but we will be launching the new University of Evansville Music Conservatory. Here today to tell you more about how this came about and what it means is Tad Dickel, president of the Friends of UE Music. Thank you, Dr. Austin. First, let me share a few details about the strength of the UE Department of Music and the role that it plays on campus and in the community. The Department of Music has distinguished itself through a long history of outstanding faculty, talented students, and successful alumni who include performers, educators, therapists, arts management professionals, church musicians, and many other career fields. In recent years, ensembles have been selected to perform at prestigious conferences and venues, including Carnegie Hall. In addition to nearly 70 music majors, over 200 students perform in ensembles each year. The Department of Music has a broad reach on campus and in the community with nearly 90 performances and 8,000 attendees each year. As a proud alumnus of the UE Department of Music, I couldn't be happier to share that through a collaborative process, including the faculty, administration, trustees, community partners, and alumni, we have crafted a plan that strengthens music both at UE and throughout the community and ensures that music is here to stay at UE. I'm also proud to share that the Friends of UE Music has responded by agreeing to double their fundraising every year in support of the Department of Music. Alumni and friends, we have been overwhelmed by your response in recent months. Thank you. Now is your time to show your support by donating, promoting UE music to prospective students, attending concerts, and volunteering. Now it is my honor to introduce Dr. Dennis Malfatti, co-chair of the UE Department of Music, who will share details about this innovative plan. Thank you very much. I want to take this opportunity to thank Tad Dickel, president of the Friends of UE Music, uh, for all of his support and tireless work facilitating this collaboration between the Department of Music faculty and the Friends of UE Music to reimagine what music at UE will look like going forward. Uh, out of this process that we've done together, uh, we are announcing today the creation of the University of Evansville Music Conservatory. Um, let me explain a little bit what that entails. We will, of course, continue to offer our UE students the distinguished degree programs that we're known for, uh, but the conservatory element expands that so that we can offer uh, much of our instruction as well to the tri-state region on a much wider scale. Building upon the success of, uh, and excellence of current offerings, uh, including our Suzuki Talent Education Program, our community music ensembles, which we just started last year, and private instruction in voice, keyboard, and orchestral instruments, the conservatory will unify all of these offerings in a more formalized way, rather than sort of the patchwork of different offerings that we've been doing up to now. Um, in addition, we are going to implement uh, dual enrollment courses for area high school students. Uh, these dual enrollment classes will include class piano, music history, music theory, and other related classes, 
We've had some preliminary conversations with area music educators uh, and as well as music administrators in the schools and there uh, is a lot of enthusiasm for offering dual enrollment so we're looking forward to working with uh, our music colleagues in the schools in the area to roll that out in the very near term under the umbrella of the conservatory. Unifying all these activities uh, under the umbrella of the uh, music Conservatory will allow us to broaden our reach uh, and unify all of our instructional offerings both to college preparatory high school students as well as lifelong adult learners who many of whom participate in our community ensemble program. Uh, and, and we will do it in the same way and uh, while still maintaining and building on the excellence uh, in the instruction we offer to our current UE students who are seeking degrees. Uh, to talk a little bit more about some elements of our proposal, uh, I'd like to hand it over to my co-chair colleague, Dr. Ken Steinsultz. Thank you, Dennis, and thanks to everyone who contributed to the plan. I'm standing outside the soon-to-be-renovated Wheeler Concert Hall. I'm happy to announce that through this plan, we are able to maintain our five degrees in the Music Conservatory at the University of Evansville. We'll continue to offer performing opportunities to music majors and non-majors through our ensemble programs. In addition, the plan includes a new music therapy clinic that will provide services in the Evansville community. The plan solidifies our commitment to the community and to community music ensembles such as the Evansville Symphonic Band, the Old Dam Band in Newburgh, the Wolfgang Orchestra and Chorus in Mount Vernon, and the Evansville Philharmonic Orchestra. And now I would like to turn it over to Kim Breedemeyer, who was a UE alum and the executive director of the Evansville Philharmonic. Thank you, Ken. The Evansville Philharmonic Orchestra maintains a strong and important relationship with the University of Evansville music department and our community. Music is an essential part of our community, and we rely on the talented UE faculty to serve in key roles in the Evansville Philharmonic particularly through the UE, EPO, Consortium Faculty, and the ICAMP String Quartet, all of whom serve as principal players in the orchestra while also serving as faculty members at the University of Evansville. As a proud alumna and at the University of Evansville and representing the Evansville Philharmonic Orchestra as Executive Director, we couldn't be happier about the outcome that will ensure continued collaboration for many years to come. Thank you and good morning everyone. Although I am not a musician myself, I know how important it is for students to have the opportunity to major, minor, or simply perform music at UE. In addition, our entire campus community benefits from the musical performances of our musicians in concerts, musical theater productions, commencement, and so much more. On behalf of the student body, I share in the excitement for this announcement and look forward to all of the benefits of the new music conservatory. I will now extend it to President Petroskevich to share more details on how this has been made possible. Thank you, Pam, for your leadership and a big thank you to our entire music department, especially the co-chairs of our music department. Thank you for collaborating with us to be able to do something that is going to help the University of Evansville for decades. Part of this plan is the renovation of Wheeler Concert Hall, about a $3 million renovation, and we're well on our way to achieving that goal. A big, huge thank you to the Schrader family, the ICAMP family, and the McCarthy family. We thank you for your generous lead gifts to help us get towards the $3 million goal. We're not quite there yet, so if you are willing to help us, we would love for you to give us a call at 812-488-2021 or www.evansville.edu forward slash give. This has been a collaborative effort on behalf of everyone. We thank you for your support of the University of Evansville, of our Department of Music, now the UE Music Conservatory. Thank you on behalf of all of us. We look forward to having the university and our music department be a big part of our community for decades and decades to come. 